Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. It looks like we're going to maybe possibly have a hot fix soon. I definitely have some good news for you guys today in this video, so let's get into it. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of you have seen the video I made not too long ago about um, when you complete up to rank 150 on the season that a couple of the uh, rewards are not infinite like they were last season, like the modules, the legendary cores, and the perk points. So a lot of people are really upset about this. I honestly don't understand why they would have done this, as I mentioned in the video before. And yeah, just again, a lot of people were upset over this, but there is some good news. Um, thank you, Poor Ventura, to, for bringing this to my attention in the Discord. They sent me this, and it said, Just got word from the team this wasn't intended, and they're investigating it. I did a little bit of research, and Lunar Nico is um, a moderator for the Bethesda Discord. So they're definitely a reputable person, and I went back and looked further into this, and they were replying to a comment that said, Hope it's a mistake, but it's three things, so seems intentional. Yes, team was notified this morning and are looking into it. So this is definitely some good news. I even um, messaged them myself, like in the Discord, and I said, sorry to bother you, but can you confirm that Bethesda is going to fix the scoreboard in relation to some rewards not being infinite and if it was by mistake? And they just linked me back to that previous comment I just showed you saying that yes, it was not intentional and that the team is aware of this. So basically confirmed that Bethesda is aware of this and it is a mistake apparently, according to Lunar Nico, again, who is a moderator for the Beth Bethesda Discord. So should be hopefully fixed in the near future. And yeah, I think this is the right decision. I really feel like, um, like, I'm glad to hear it was unintentional, first of all. Second, it's just something that needs to be fixed ASAP. We really don't want to wait a month for this, especially for the people that, you know, have bought the scoreboard. Of course, they're going to want to be able to take advantage of all those extra rewards as possible. So good job, Bethesda. Now, in, into other news here. <laughs> okay, so here was another thing that, they, that Bethesda posted. After the release of the Skyline Valley, an issue with scrapping pickaxes was discovered. The team has temporarily removed the ability to craft pickaxes until a fix is ready to be implemented. The headhunter scythe will be claimable from the season pass, but won't be able to craft them until the fix is deployed. We'll have more details and share at a later date. Now this kind of sucks because I wanted to try this weapon, but this is definitely a glitch that I understand that they need to address and they took pickaxes out of the game. Basically, you cannot craft them. I heard you can still find them actually, but basically what is happening is I think, or what I've heard is when you scrap a pickaxe, it has some relation to the, the new Headhunter Scythe, and you get legendary um, script back for it. I think it's just two for every pickaxe, but yeah, definitely a weird bug going around. I definitely saw a couple of posts about this on Reddit, and I was just like, what? 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 Just so weird. Like, if you told me that this was going to be a bug... Like, I wouldn't have been surprised because, you know, we all know when there's an update, there's definitely some bugs to work out, which is normal, I think. But, yeah, if you had told me that pickaxes were going to be removed because scrapping them gives you legendary script, I definitely probably would have looked a little bit dubious and be like, really? <laughs> but, yeah, apparently that's going to be fixed as well, so if you can't craft that or the pickaxe, you know why. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticing or the flickering and the crashing at vendors and workbenches. Um, I've been getting like black application errors if that's, I don't know what's going on there. It's usually a blue screen, it's black now. I don't know what's going on there. Honestly, I feel like the game was a little bit more stable. I streamed for four hours yesterday and didn't have any problems. But anyway, they are also going to fix that as well. The flickering is definitely annoying. And yeah, let's just keep moving forward here and hopefully we can get all this stuff fixed, especially that stuff on the end of the scoreboard. I really didn't understand why they would have it last season and then not have it this season. So it's nice to see that that's going to be fixed and it, it was, it's, as it seems, it was a mistake. So yeah, hopefully that gets fixed really soon. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'm very happy to bring you guys some good news today. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.